What up, everybody? It's me, Zerol Vichy, for all of my French fans. Lerol Bichi for all of my Spanish fans. And Derol Bichi for all of my Chinese fans. Here, giving you another show. First thing I want to get into is that No Shave November is over. I know that December 1st is tomorrow, but I can wait no more. If you've been watching the last few videos, y'all see that I was just a mess, but now I'm just... Mm, I think I needed a barber. None of you niggas can fade me. I'm so good with this. I remind you I'm so hood with this. I also want to mention that it is officially Sagittarius season. All Sagittarius stand up because... <laughs> The queen said it best. I was in love with a Sagittarius. He blew my mind. He also had a flip side. Too much like a Gemini. <laughs> I prefer a Scorpio. Maybe a Cancer. Maybe a Pisces. <laughs> For all of you know the Scorpio, Cancers, and Pisces followers that I got and watches that I got. Um, the first thing I want to get into right now is to give Beyonce, while we're on the topic of Beyonce and singing her songs and all that other stuff, a big old yes for Dance For You. Bitch, you better... You better dance for that white man. It would have been a little cute if you would have had Jay, but I understand y'all don't do stuff like that. Um, Bitch, you better work in that video. The song is my shit and I like the video. So big ups to B. Um, hurry up and announce when you're having a baby. Shit. Kyla Pratt news, y'all. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to it. A lot of people have. A lot of people haven't. But, you know, a lot of recent um, stories about Kyla Pratt have been negative just because, you know, she's had a baby. Who the fuck said that she couldn't have a baby? She's a human being just like everybody else. You got 16-year-old and pregnant on. Why can't Kyla Pratt have a baby? Because she black and on TV. Black people just love to make something out of nothing. And I just want to say to leave Kyla Pratt alone. Let her take care of her baby. With her fine-ass baby daddy. Yes, Kyla, I'm sorry. You know, I know I started off motivational and then I, you had to say fine-ass baby daddy, but he's fine, girl. Okay? I'm giving you a shout-out, girl. Oh, call. Oh, call. Leave Kyla Pratt alone. Let her take care of her child and do whatever she's planning on doing now. She's no longer on t television. And just leave Kyla Pratt alone. Shit. Okay, Bree Bree? Tell our nails to call me, girl, okay? <laughs> or flex, whichever one you talk to first, okay? <laughs> JoJo Simmons, y'all. Rev Ron's son, JoJo Simmons. I don't know if y'all been paying attention to this either, y'all, but JoJo has just been all over the place. Um, a few weeks ago, there was some allegations from a tranny saying that she fucked JoJo. And then a few days ago, I seen something talking about he got... Um, he got kidnapped at the motherfucking strip club acting the fool and he had to pay his hood tax for y'all for those of you who don't know what a hood tax is if somebody snatches you up in the hood whatever you have that's valuable like if i had to give up my i'm not even going to show all the things that i possess because i don't want nobody trying to make me pay a hood tax but um if i had to give up just money my fucking jewelry a uh, chain a watch he had to pay that in order to be let go but i heard he still got roughed up a little bit so jojo I just don't know what's going on. Your daddy's a pastor. Your mother is one of the nicest people on earth, it seems like. What's going on, JoJo? I feel like, JoJo, you need to go talk to Dr. Drew or Dr. Phil, and you need to address these feelings and this hatred towards Diggy, because I feel like that's what it is. I feel like you're just jealous, and you know, because you you originally started this. If we all go back to Ren's house, we all remember JoJo started the rap, and Diggy was like, hey, hey, JoJo, can I come to your little your, your studio and do some rapping? And now Diggy's turning into a big, you know, teen superstar. Not big, but, I mean, yeah, big, big. He, he kind of, he getting up there, doing scream tours and whatnot, going on tours, got fans and jet setters and all that and you know just i just yeah get it together jojo rev Ron, you need to do a, a religious intervention get the get the spirit of satan up out of that boy get the spirit of hate and jealousy up out of that boy and let him know that he can still be famous be you can still follow in the simmons name just be like russell diggy or do the rapping like your daddy and you can be the businessman like russell i'd rather be russell shit you ain't gotta go on tour and you're still getting millions oh go all caught. The NBA being back. NBA's back. NBA back. That's all these niggas screaming at. NBA back. Oh, garbage. Um, I'm trying my hardest to be at this Bulls Lakers game on Christmas Day. I don't care if I'm in the nosebleeds, bitch, as long as I'm there. Shout out to D Rose, Kobe, Metal World Peace, Ron Artest, or whatever his name is, and everybody else in the NBA for getting your shit together. I expect the Bulls to win the championship this year. I'm claiming it now on November 30th, 2011, that the Bulls will win the NBA championship. 
next year. So, um, yeah, I just I just see it happening this year. I just don't see D-Rose thinking he wasn't going to have a job and then coming back and losing. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to D-Rose. Um, if you need to come on the show, give me a few. This is Conrad Murray, y'all. For those of you who don't know, Conrad has been sentenced to two years in prison for killing Michael Jackson. He didn't kill Michael Jackson. For killing Michael Jackson. I'll do that when I say killing. Because I still don't believe he did it. And just like I told y'all, it's all a setup. Conrad was the man who was hired to take the fall for killing Michael Jackson. And... He's going to get his coins when he gets out of jail. He, they He knew that he's like, you know, what we're going to do is we're going to say that you killed him. We're going to have a trial. You're going to be sentenced to two years. Serve your two years. You might not even be the, in there that long. Get out and we'll pay you what, what, you're, what you're owed. So, I mean, I told y'all that's what was going to happen. I pretty much predicted it. I knew he wasn't going to jail for four years. So, Conrad, get your coins however you can get them, girl, okay? And keep playing this role. Because if you snitch or say anything, we all know what happened with Biggie and Pac and, and Aaliyah and everybody else. So don't say anything, okay? Um, I knew you signed the oath, so don't say nothing. That's all I'm going to say. I'm, saying, I'm saying too much. <laughs> you know they watching, y'all. You know they watching. I'm saying too much, but yeah. Um, Conrad, we'll see you in one and a half or two years. A year and a day like T.I. Shit. I also want to give a big congratulations out to uh, Kourtney Kardashian, who is pregnant with her th second child. I just, I just wish that all, I just wish that Kim could be like Chloe and Kourtney because Kim, she just does too much extra and gets herself into too many different things. Kourtney is at home taking care of her child, being a mother, being a, a girlfriend, soon to be wife. Hopefully, I don't know what's taking y'all so long. Y'all just popping out all these kids, but y'all ain't got no ring on it. <laughs> it's a sin, but <laughs> who's the judge ye not yet to be judged okay whatever the bible say i mean not whatever but you know you know what i'm saying yeah. everybody know the whole bible you know the whole bible read it to me say it say it out loud the whole bible okay thanks um but yeah courtney's taking care of her child being a soon-to-be wife chloe's being a wife being a businesswoman running the kardashian clothing store and clothing line why can't kim just sit down and do that why does she have to be fucking a celebrity getting married for five days and then Saying, oh, I made a mistake. I didn't want to marry him. Or I thought he was somebody else. Bitch, get it together, Kim K. I'm still over you. I still don't like you. I still wish that I could banish you from TV. And banish you from my life all together. Anytime I even see anything with Kim K. Just like the Tyler Perry movie that's coming out soon, y'all. With Kim K in it. I'm not going to buy it. I mean, I'm not going to pay my money to give her any money. I'm going to... I'm not going to say how I'm going to watch it. But I'm not going to buy it, okay? <laughs> Black people, we know. Okay? Two for the five. <laughs> new movies two for the five okay <laughs> let me stop but yeah kim k get it together found a husband a real husband bitch now if you would have stayed with this man i would have been a little bit more happier but just the fact that you faked it for 13 million dollars that just made me not like you i can't get married but you can play around with marriage and that just perturbs me that just pisses me off so anyway on to some WIU news. I want to talk about this ratchet WIU mess that went on yesterday. Real quick because it's not even worth that much time on the show. Um, I guess something happened in the library. People was getting loud. Da, 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 woo, woo. And this is all I want to say about that. So on Twitter, I had two different groups of people. I had the groups of people who was like, um, you know, telling everybody, oh, it was just something in the, um, in the library and the police coming and da-da-da, woo-woo-woo. And then we had the group of people who was like, oh my God, people just love to keep drama. People just love to keep drama going and da-da-da and woo-woo and wah-wah-wah. And to that group of people who were saying that, I just want to say to shut the fuck up. Because you know good and goddamn well when you with your good girlfriends and good boyfriends, when some mess is going on campus, y'all talking about it. So let's all stop acting like we're holier than thou and that we don't talk about motherfuckers, that we don't gossip. And... Let's just handle our own situation. So, if we hear somebody talking shit, you know, telling people what happened here and there, let's not just start, oh, these people, oh, well, da-da-da, and oh, well, bitch. Because, you know, good and goddamn well when you with your sorors and your frats and your friends and your teammates and your partners and your cousins and your baby daddy and your dip-off that you gossip. So, shut the fuck up. I just want to say that the whole thing was stupid, really. I didn't even comment on it, and it's not even worth really telling y'all what happened. So, I just wanted to say that to them people, to them people who's like, people just love to keep drama going, and da-da-da. I don't really necessarily think people was keeping drama going. If you saw that same shit in the library, your ass would have did the same thing. So, just sit down. 
people just, I just don't like people who act holier than I, but no, they talk just as much shit as anybody else. Now, when motherfuckers start to attack you, that's when you get defensive, okay? If it didn't have nothing to do with you, mind your business. Just mind your business, okay? Today is Watch the Throne Tour, y'all. I will be there. United Center, 7.30 tonight. Um, I cannot wait to see Jan Ye. I'm hoping and praying and just vi envisioning it so that it really happens that B will come out and do lift off with them because I'm going to queen out and just go in. Even if she just came out and said, no, we're going to take it to the moon, take it to the stars. How many people you know can take it that far? And left the stage, I will be, I will be satisfied with that. Um, but yeah, I will be documenting the whole trip, the trip there at the concert afterwards, giving y'all a little taste of what I got to experience and that will be on the next show. So be ready for that. It will be funny boots at this weekend. I need y'all to get y'all tickets for Picture Perfect and House Arrest 2's Deadly Combination show. When I tell you, and I'm not even going to spill too many, too much tea on this show because I don't want to ruin it. But I went to practice last night and I just have to say that picture perfect. I mean, I didn't really, I can't really say that House Arrest 2 was good or bad because I didn't see all of their performances and stuff like that. But picture perfect, bitch. Y'all, I just feel like y'all are about to give me life because the things that I saw yesterday while I was at practice was sickening. And it's going to be even more sickening when it's up there on that big-ass stage and runway and just... Uh, y'all need to get y'all tickets. The tickets is $10. I need people to stop complaining, acting like $10 is too much. Because if it was two separate shows, you was going to have to pay $10 each. So that's $20. So you're saving 10 So look, let me break it down for you people who are still in Math 99. Picture Perfect show would have been 10 House Arrest show would have been 10 That's 20 You get to see both for 10 and you can use the other 10 to put in on the loud, the loud pack. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Roll up, blind up, roll up, blind up, roll up, blind up, roll up, blind up. <laughs> Listen to that song if you haven't heard it. Um, Yeah, so stop being cheap. Stop acting like $10 is too much. You got $10 to put in on the bottle every weekend. You got $10 to put in on the eighth or a dub aloud to smoke with your friends and match blunts and all that. Stop acting so, stop acting so cheap. Spoil yourself. Enjoy it because it's going to be sickening. Hosted by Judy from Bad Girls Club. Also, um, this Sunday, we will be having the Fashion Police 3. And I really want to have a panel. I told my friend Shatara from Picture Perfect that I want Shatara, I want Johnny, I want Monica, and I want Dorian on my panel for the Fashion Police. Just, you know, we're, and then I'm going to try to set up something where as you walk in, everybody's seen and their outfit is showing. Because you have to show out. This is like Homecoming Part 2. SIUC will be out here. I heard a dance troupe from SIUC trying to come out here. Judy people trying to come out here. It's just going to crack. So get your tickets now. If you wait until the door, you're going to have to pay two more dollars. I mean, two more dollars ain't nothing, but you can use them two dollars to get the two four dollars swishes from, um... From Cinex, okay? See, I'm just hooking y'all up, okay? I can teach you how to spend it, baby, okay? <laughs> and get two blunts, maybe three, depending on how big the gram is. But let me stop, <laughs> okay? Um, Get your tickets. Oh, Sunday we will be having the Fashion Police 3. And also I will be showing the interview with Judy before the show. Um, Really, I'm just going to ask her about Love Games, this show that comes on two days after she hosts the fashion show. And then I'm going to ask her, like, what other, you know, upcoming things she has going on. I need to give a shout-out to BHS, Bolingbrook High School football team, bringing home our first ever state title. I know I don't go to Bolingbrook. I know I graduated a long time ago, but I went to Bolingbrook and I graduated from that, so I'm going to rep them as long as I feel like it. Okay. Even when I'm 80-some years old, if they win a championship, I'm going to be happy about it. So, why do you care if I'm happy about that? <laughs> anyway, so yes, big ups to Bolenberg, Big ups to little Philip, Felicia's brother. Big ups to my friend Bianca's little brother AJ. Full scholarship to Arizona State University. Okay, we doing things. Bolenberg produces stars. Bolenberg produces athletic stars. Maybe not regular stars, but athletic. And a few niggas who want to be rappers. I mean... It's Bolingbrook, but it's sickening. The school is sickening. If you haven't seen Bolingbrook High School, go to your Google thing and type in Bolingbrook High School. It's sickening. 
Yeah, it's, mm, shit's on your school. Sorry, <laughs> not trying to act all bougie and hassidity and stuff because I'm not, but it does. It's sickening. So shout out to Bolenberg for bringing home their first ever championship. Hopefully, we can bring home another one next year. This quarterback was sickening. The most sickening quarterback I've ever seen play for B BHS. When I was there, we always made it to the playoffs, but we never brought the title home. So, congrats to all of them. Shout outs, big ups. Look out for them. Add them on Facebook and Twitter. I don't know their names, but look for them and yeah. As far as love games go, I hope that Judy wins. I hope that that redhead bitch doesn't win. And I don't even remember who the third girl is on the show. Um, I need to give a shout out. I'm about to give some shout outs, I guess. I need to give a shout out. I be forgetting all these people who I need to give shout outs to, but I need to give a shout out to Johnny of Picture Perfect. Johnny, that boy got talent. I'm gonna try to interview him one on one on my show during my week of um during my week of farewell. My farewell week. Oh yeah, I have to mention that. Um probably next week will be the farewell week of Daryl Bitchy. I'm gonna give you a few shows. I'm gonna do a few interviews with people who are doing things with their lives, such as Johnny, who is the president co found president founder and choreographer and accountant and everything of Picture Perfect Modeling Troop. Um I'm gonna do one I think with Jamar <laughs> who is a model at my school. I'm going to do one with my friend Matthew, who's also a model from SIUC, who will be coming out here. And I'm just going to do one with people who are doing things with their lives. If you dance, sing, act, um, do fashion, if you just do something with your life and you want to be on the show, hit me up. I want to, you know, get your name out there to the, you know, 110,000 people who have watched my show and continue to watch my show. And, yeah. Numbers are going up. I think I'm about to break 110,000. So, you know, hallelujah for that. <laughs> Thank you, Father God. Let me stop. But yeah, thank you, Father God, for that blessing. And just thank everybody for watching the Daryl Bitchy Show. Next week is the farewell week. I'm going to do interviews. I'm going to also, for my season finale, I'm going to do a tell all show in which I just say exactly what I feel about certain people, certain situations, certain things, and just my goodbye to WIU and goodbye to Illinois. For all of you who don't know, I will be moving in January to florida so the road bitchy does orlando will start in january of 2012 and it's just gonna be sickening i'm just gonna do orlando and do everything in orlando and i mean everything oh <laughs> let me stop no i'm just playing or am i i don't know but yeah um it's gonna be a fun little last hurrah and make sure you follow me on twitter look at underscore d now 88 it's up there above my head right now and before you leave the show please click the like button down there right now click it now enjoy the show tell your mama about it put it on your facebook tweet it put it on your tumblr help me out i'll support you if you support me and i'll even support you even if you don't support me because i'm that nice of a person okay deuces